she's from West London. She's only 20 years old and she's already proven herself as a very impressive singer-songwriter. Please welcome to the stage for her first time in Paris, Gretel Henlein.
taking you to the interviewing room. Oh, cute. Your project name? Gretel, yeah. What does yeah. that evoke to you? I wanted a, a name that I felt was reflective of the music and the persona mm -hmm. that I am and the music that I make. Mm -hmm. Gretel just seemed to evoke this kind of fairy tale. Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, Hansel and Gretel, and it's like Brothers Grimm, you know, yeah. which is nice and gothic as well, which is, you know, something that I, um, you know, lean towards. Do you read poetry for lyric writing? I used to, that's how I got into... Um, oh, really? I was, did poetry and creative writing before I did music or okay. guitar or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. Like, people that would write from weird narratives, so like... Okay. Um, Robert Browning. Okay. I think that's something that I've carried forward in mm. my own lyric writing. I do tend to enjoy writing from weird narratives. What do you like call Connie. weird? Like storytelling. Weird. I feel you're into Story storytelling yeah, and narratives sure. in your... Like a character? Slug Eye is a character. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's that character about? Can you tell us? He's the, kind of a, a character that isn't very likeable, okay. but there's like bits of kind of very real human nature in him as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like Slug Eye the song sonically mm. sums up this like era of me entering music quite well. Oh, mm -hmm. 
is fit upon your dress But if anyone had to guess You say it's impolite to mention That you were trying to impress Or you could try a little less Hey, at least had some intention say your main influences are? Nick Cave, I think, lyrically is a massive influence. Yeah. Vocally, I guess, kind of hearing lower voiced uh, singers like yes. myself was, was like a real kind of awakening because I didn't always sing this low. Um, a lot of my diaphragm muscle kind of fell away and as it kind of grew back, I, it I was kind through of... through an illness? Yeah, yeah. And you couldn't sing anymore? Yeah, I can, I, well, I could, but it sounded terrible. And I didn't have any muscle to like uh, sing with, so it was just kind of like, <gasps> kind wow. of thing. That must have been it was scary devastating. for someone who had been singing before. It was really sad. And so learning to sing again, you know, it was quite a difficult experience. And I found myself having to really push and lower my larynx to, to mm. get a proper sound out. Oh, wow. And that's why I now sing quite, like that, uh, because that's the way I really learned to sing. Yeah. And it's how I like to sing now as well. I mean, one of the things I loved the most in listening to your music was your voice. I felt um, it was very original Thank and you. definitely not matching with your physique, which is a great <laughs> thing. No, but it's great because it's yeah. surprising, you know. Yeah. I th I think Who's the dude you? singing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's that dude? Who's the guy? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Do you write it in your bed or on your bed? Or? Depends on the song. Yeah. Uh, it's the Future Baby was mm. mostly vocal and guitar wise written in my room mm. uh, and then I brought it into the studio and finished it mm. uh, motorbike great song thank you it's, it's probably my favorite along with Connie Connie's, yeah, Connie's yeah, yeah. I like that one Connie was an improvisation actually oh wow yeah it was so guitar and mic and just in the room just improvised yeah. a song and then I quickly did the lyrics to it and it was done in like two hours That's cool. it, it's completely different with each mm. song. I don't think I've really found my process yet. And now you've been playing them live. Has that changed anything in your songwriting or your you know, approach yeah. of the project in a way, you know? Yeah, what well, definitely makes me want to write um, songs, even like at a particular tempo. There's like a sweet spot ah, with tempos, isn't there? Interesting. You know, like 110 to kind of 120. <laughs> Yes. I've been kind of going, I'm going to write a song at 110 to 120 and, you know, people will be like, mm, mm, mm. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, like, I people, people want to move at that tempo.
audience, was it okay? Oh my god, it was so much better than the last couple of games I've done. I, these guys are great. I need to come to Paris again. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you, Jenny, back. <laughs> back.